I'm Neil and welcome to my adults chess improvement channel dreaming of chess mastery. Recently I started reading a, a, a fantastic book that comes highly regarded, uh, arguably one of the best books written in the last five years, Under the Surface by Jan Marcus. Now it's certainly not in any sense a beginner's book, it's pretty deep stuff, but it's very engagingly written, what I've read so far, and uh, I think it appeals to me, will appeal to an enormously wide audience. I'm reading it in the evenings just before I go to sleep. Um, it's not part of my own personal sort of uh, chess improvement program. I'm, I'm reading it for pleasure, but just reading the forward to it made me realize immediately that for those of a more philosophical bent, this book is, as Andras Toss would say, pure gold. Fantastic. So the forward's written by uh, Grandmaster Vlastimil Babula, and he kicks off by saying, we are living in hasty times. Um, and how true is that? Uh, and what he is, as he elaborates, what he means is that our current age really has been character, characterized by a pressure to achieve, achieve things quickly and, and consequently to learn things fast. And in the process, um, we try and soak up information uh, full steam ahead, as fast as possible. Uh, and as a result, we take what people are saying as gospel. We don't sort of question it, because there isn't time to do that. You know, it, it kind of reminded me uh, of my time being uh, spent teaching mathematics in high school. Um, and we were looking at more um, investigative approaches to learning mathematics. Uh, but always the problem was, on the one hand, it would be very nice to get uh, ch children to learn through a discovery method to kind of construct um, a formula or a theorem themselves based on their own investigation but there was the small matter of getting through the syllabus uh, you were under pressure to deliver um, and you needed to do that because in the time allotted to you which was by no means infinite although math mathematics got a, a decent chunk of learning time um, in the system the curriculum that we followed you know, you had to get them to a point where they could sit their international exams and uh, get into the university of their choice one day. If you sort of wound back what they needed to learn, this meant that uh, you didn't have, um, for example, if you were teaching simultaneous equations, you didn't have time to uh, approach it perhaps the way you would like to. You needed to bang in the techniques so that they can use them uh, in the next step of their learning process. And they, as a result, had to take much of what you said as gospel. Gospel according to the authority figure, their maths teacher. And Barbola makes the point that it doesn't matter whether this is actually true. I mean, what I was teaching... Um, you know, within the context of those systems, it's not wrong, it's right. It is the gospel truth. Uh, however, by not allowing the learner a chance to kind of feel it for themselves, to make it their own, you essentially limit their understanding. It's something that they know, but not something they truly understand. And Babula makes the point that there is 
a way we can characterize this sort of knowledge. It is superficial. And after this very, a very long paragraph we where he elaborates on this point, and I, of course, it's a, a forward to a book on chess, and thinking in a, in a chess sense, he begins the next paragraph by saying, and the same is true of chess. So, uh, and this was wonderful to me. You know, he, he's making this point, and I, and I was seeing it purely in a, in a chess context. But he is making a point that, that is really generally true of so much that we are learning. We are forced by the needs of our time, by a sort of inf knowledge inflation of how much needs to be crammed into your head to learn stuff in a very superficial way. Um, and I suppose, bringing it back to the the context of the adult, adult chess improver, I want to improve my chess, so I feel I need to know more, that this is what is holding me back. There are gaps in my knowledge. Um, but there's a problem, because as he goes on to elaborate, what we do when we go through this process of um, piling up superficial knowledge is we create weakness is in, in our foundations. Um, it's a strength, if I, if I relate this to maths education, it's a strength of the approach taken by, uh, and this is very much a, a system of our time, certainly not the way I learned maths, it's a, a, a sort of philosophical underpinning of the Khan Academy and the sort of online learning where you really get to learn the idea, the, the, the concept or technique in a deep way and you don't advance until you've really absorbed it. Um, computer learning uh, does allow you to do that, the sort of idea of spaced re repetition and then going back over the instructional material until you've really put it all together. But in the forward to under the surface, a further point is raised and that is that we are all very individual. My path may not be the path taken by someone else. I have to construct my own path and, and this is a very um, intensive, deep process, the very opposite of superficial learning. And the title of the book kind of gives it away, under the surface. Uh, Jan Marcos is going to look at what lurks beneath, at what, what um, uh, is hidden beyond our perhaps sometimes superficial understanding of this very rich, deep game. Um, and I, I, I've only read um, one chapter. The chapters are short um, and beautifully written. I'm going to read the whole book as a sort of um, reading, for, uh, there's lots of diagrams and and following the, the chess part sort of blindfold. And then I think I will eventually take the book and study it more deeply um, when I slot it into my own study regime. But conceptually, wonderful. Uh, and I'm already just thinking about it. It does seem to me that this is uh, what is so obviously a flaw in my own chess. I know quite a bit, but it's, it, it is the superficial sort of knowledge. Um, you know, I, I will give a chess example, which will maybe make that a bit more concrete. Um, you learn as a, as a novice player that uh, there is a drawing tendency of opposite 
coloured bishops in an endgame. If I have a light squared bishop and my opponent has a dark squared bishop, very often, even if they have um, a couple of extra pawns, not just one, um, I am able to draw the ending because my bishop can set up a blockade and their bishop can't kind of harass mine because it's on a different colour complex. A bit further on in your, your chess understanding, you discover that as much as opposite colour bishops might have a sort of potential drawing tendency in the end game, in the middle game they can really, really uh, tip the balance in favour of the side with the initiative, because it's as if they can attack with an extra piece. Um, and so this, this sort of superficiality of an idea uh, can, can uh, handicap us, because we try and apply an idea we've learned in a context for which it really isn't meant. Um, now, I can't say much more about the book at the moment because, uh, well, I've only read a few pages and eventually I can see that this is one where I will want to really pick it apart in a, in a, in a deeper sort of way, in a way that it deserves to be treated. But um, what a fantastic idea. We live in hasty times. Uh, we need to know more and more information in shorter and shorter periods of time. And the price we pay for that is a superficiality of our knowledge and um, a depersonalization of that knowledge. Um, heady stuff and um, stuff that is an idea, a concept that is applicable, obviously, to so much more than our beautiful game of chess. So I'll leave you with that thought and uh, trust you're enjoying your chess or whatever you're doing, that your lives are filled with joy, that you're healthy. And until next week from sunny Brazil, ciao.